Welcome to episode two of Tennis United. I am your host, Bethany Maddox-Sands, and alongside of me, of course, socially at a distance, is Vasek Pospisil. Vasek, how's everything up in Whistler? It's good. Well, I'm actually back in Vancouver, but uh, we're Hi, ha- you're glad. You're changing yeah. spots on me now. <laughs> Well, we're glad you could join the show, guys. This is Tennis United. And episode two will continue with a lot of the same themes as the first episode. We've got challenges, social media content, and special guests, as always. Basically, we are getting an inside look at all the players on both tours. And Vasek, listen, I feel like you abused your power a little bit getting oh. the password from the ATP. I mean, that that's, that's a big responsibility. <laughs> we both had both tours like in the yeah. palm of our hands. So what what did you get up to? I know it was funny because I we were doing the the Instagram live and and I logged in, I logged on like I think ten minutes early just to make sure that there were no issues and and I was just kind of scrolling through and I was looking at the stories and then I kind of wanted to like comment on on some of the stories I thought a couple of them were kind of ridiculous I'm not going to point out any any names but and uh, <laughs> and then I realized it would be pretty actually actually hilarious because it like they wouldn't even know it was me so I was like well I could just totally just troll all the players right now. <laughs> And it was funny. Then we went on the, on the Instagram live, and you mentioned it too. And I was like, "Yeah, like I'm already one step ahead of you." You're like, "Yeah, oh, we have we have all this power with these the password." And uh, yeah, and then I just kind of ran with it. We finished our show, and I and I uh, decided to just start trolling some players. All right, Vasek, let's take a look at a couple of the players that you trolled. The first one up, Roger. Uh, of course, you had to troll yeah, Roger a little this bit. Was, this was and great. And he's so well, PC. Look at his response. Like, what a nice guy. I know. It, most of these messages that I sent, I was by myself in the living room <laughs> laughing hysterically, like out loud by myself. It was kind of a weird, weird scene altogether, but. We got Jack Sock. Listen, first of all, the, that first comment though, this is the sweetest, like cutest thing ever. <laughs> like what, <laughs> Who, how'd you even come up with that wording? That's amazing. <laughs> First of all, he should have known. He should have known that this was not someone from the ATP, but that's this, okay. This is the one where I think I laughed the most for sure. <laughs> at the end. <laughs> he said, about the wedding. <laughs> I love yeah. this. Oh, he called Jack. Me. As, soon, I, as, as soon as he found out it was me, he called me, FaceTimed me immediately. This is amazing. Yeah, and we got a chance to talk to Jack and uh, get the real emotions behind his response. <laughs> Yeah, we were we were actually at the soccer field working out, and we, I was genuinely upset. I really was. Like I was, I I read these messages, and like I think I think like the, the initial response to the story was like, yeah, this is a great picture. You two look cute. I reeled you in. You took the bait. It was just yeah, a little, no, hundred percent. Like, <laughs> and I got you but on the hook. I was like, I know. I was like. I was like, okay, maybe they're just like having fun. Everyone's like bored yeah. right now. They're upon us. Right. So I was like, okay. I read the next thing. I was I was fuming. I was like, <laughs> how how can the ATP tell me what to post and what to not post? And like, we're about to get married. This is about to be my wife. Yet I'm not allowed to post with her. From the ATP. I was like, it was a recommendation. Oh, okay, it was a recommendation. <laughs> She's coming to say hi now. Yay! Here's Laura and hey, Wesley. Laura. Wesley. Hi. Laura hey, Wesley. Hi. Hey, um, we're going on a trip. Yeah, she's got to head to the store. She's going to go head to the store and then say hi to her parents from a distance. So, awesome, cool. Jack. Well, thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Yeah, of um, course. Keep working course. out. I hope Laura keeps you in shape. Um, <laughs> no, but keep it up, and uh, we'll we'll stay in touch and talk to you later. Yeah, perfect. Thank you guys for having me. Thanks for joining it. us, man. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Devo anche la Javi, I see you. Uh, you guys set up your backyard tennis. Uh, you you still look like you're in good shape. I'm trying to just do something because I feel much better to do something like uh, spinning, exercise. That doesn't matter, whatever. But I I like to do something. I also like Zumba. Do you know Zumba? Yeah, I know Zumba. Okay, okay. Are you getting Are you getting Fabio to do Zumba? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, no, thank you. Oh, come on now, come on now. Fabio, does that mean you lost the uh, the game in the back in the backyard there? Did, did, did Fabio beat you, and then you're like, you have to make a comeback. Yes, one one. <laughs> <laughs> so we try to organize something uh, better than this one, but here it's all close, man. Tennis yeah. school and everything is close. Yeah, for the moment we cannot do nothing. We just practice home, 
stay with the baby, cleaning the house. It's really good, it helped me a lot. Eh? I mean, I'm really happy about that. The first week I was almost done. So I play five <laughs> sets every day, but... <laughs> but you know, you, know day, you know the day that he told me, Flavia, I, I, everything is stopped. I mean, I cannot go to Indian West because I don't have to play, but for a moment, I, I wasn't really like shock. in shock. I said, okay, I'm going to be with him for one <laughs> month or the month. What, what is going to be like? Because it's like either what, like you're used to not seeing someone and then all of a sudden it's like 24 seven, you're with somebody. It's different. But the first week was like the worst one. I can say I want to. When the kids, you have to have the time that the kids have, not the one that you want to. But yeah. it was like, ah, oh, we can do that, no worry, we can, they can wait, they can, no way, <laughs> they cannot wait. <laughs> but now it's perfect. Wake up in the night, help me a lot, clean the house. Good job, good, good job, Mom. You're getting some bonus points now. Very impressive, very impressive. Fla Flavia, how long in, have you and Fabio been together now? Too much. No, six years. <laughs> okay, wow. six years. I have one question. I'm genuinely curious because I, I was always wondering how this would be, but, but like dating or being married to whatever, like another tennis player like this, like how, what's the dynamic? She was always, she was always look at me like say, wow, how beautiful you are, man. Well, I can do without you. So I say, listen, give me time. <laughs> <laughs> give me time. <laughs> it, it's good to have like someone who can speak about tennis at home, but not too much. And the important thing is just you can understand everything, you know, like when you are in the bad moon or something, you know, when you can talk and you know when you just have to stay quiet. <laughs> quiet. <laughs> well, guys, listen, we, we, we have a game here for you if you're willing to play with us. We're going to ask you, have you ever, and then follow it up. And all you have to do, if you have, if, it's a, if the answer is a yes, you just raise your hand. And if it's a no, don't raise your hand. And we'll ask you a few questions. So I'll start here with the first one. First one's a tennis related one. Have you ever stolen anything from a tennis tournament? Hey, easy. Hey, easy. Hey. <laughs> Go <laughs> ahead. The last event for warm up and did one for sure. That was. Have you ever strung your own racket? <laughs> Fabio, my man, my man, I'm the same. I've never, I've never strung a racket. Okay, all right. Have you ever skipped a pre-match warm-up and just gone straight to the match? Fabio, for sure. Fabio, never. Fabio, for sure. never. <laughs> Listen, when Flavia was playing, she was like, I, you were always on the bike, girl. Like you would uh, before the match and then right after, you had the same warm up and cool down routine, I think your whole career, at least what I saw. All right, all right, so now we have, we have some non-tennis questions. So, okay, I'll, I'll start with one. Have you ever pretended not to be able to speak English to avoid a conversation? No, always. Always. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever missed a flight? I missed a flight, stay in the in the airport what, two hours before. In London with Federico. And the nanny. And the nanny, we missed a flight. No way. No way. I fly, actually, last, last time in Davis Cup. Really? <laughs> that wasn't that long ago. It was not my fault. We have the last one here for you. Have you ever forgotten your spouse's birthday? So have you ever forgotten Flavia's birthday and Flavia have you ever forgotten Fabio's birthday? No. I'm putting you on the spot here. Never. True love. Never. True love. True love. I was thinking True that love. That was an easy one. No, about couple of no, tennis, tennis. Oh, guys. You, you guys, guys are win. Too cute. You win. Guys, well, thanks so much for joining us. That was that was really, really fun. That was yeah. That was, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, yeah, that was awesome. Thanks, guys. Ciao. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Let's go. Let's keep moving in. <laughs> and watching. Watching that bounce. As we <laughs> this is the best. 
Well, there was no movement. This is the best. This, this is quarantine life in a nutshell. Just like this is what all the pros are, are feeling when they go and practice right now. Look at how many <laughs> balls are behind him too. Like he is so over this practice. <laughs> all right, this next social post is a hit and run. I've actually seen a few of these. Yeah, I think he was. I, I mean, I. I think he was the first one that did this. I don't know. I, 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 if I'm not mistaken, this was the first guy that I've seen on social media that tried this, and then I saw a bunch of videos. Uh, I mean, to time the jump in the yeah, pool, like this is absolutely cool. ridiculous. I think it took him a few days. I know he's posting for a few Whoa. days, but this is okay. unreal. So we have another one. Rosalie is attempting this. Okay, I haven't seen this one. Into the pond. Sprint wow. through. Wait and a second. A Wait a second. Who's that behind the tree there? Is this real? Hang on a second. Right. Rewind. Rewind. We, Hang on we, a second. we saw something. Okay, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe, yeah, yeah, okay. Whenever, first of all, whatever that girl is wearing behind the tree, it's, it looks like a ghost. It just Anyways, looks like, super she's suspect. Wearing, like, like why is she there dress. hiding behind the tree? Uh, but you know what? I The angle of the ball, the, it looks like it, it, it was real. <laughs> <laughs> this, I saw this one. is, you know you have a lot of time at home when you're coming up <laughs> yeah, with videos so like so this. <laughs> there was very, very unexpected when his wife started banging her head on the uh, whatever that is. That's a mood right there. That's quarantine yeah, mood that, right there. Yeah, totally. You got a friend. Great song. <laughs> Great song. <laughs> I love this. This is, we're at the point right now where this is how tennis players are feeling about their rackets. <laughs> I mean, really, reading, reading Rafa's, Rafa's book, book, I like this. There we go. <laughs> that was good. I enjoyed that one. That was good. <laughs> James Duckworth, what did he have to say about this? I want to know. Wimbledon got um, got cancelled and pretty bored. Um, I'll, I'll get on to something and um yeah just sort of threw a few ideas together um and, and yeah came up with that all right here we got dasha kasik keenan she's been on fire on tiktok doing all the challenges but this is her latest one like, this is definitely a mood that like yeah. this gives me the feels I think, right here I think, I think this is how all the single tennis players feel right now they don't have a spouse or a boyfriend <laughs> or a girlfriend they, just, they have their rackets with them and then now we have Nutella. <laughs> what is this? Oh, she's on Tinder. This is oh, amazing. Oh, she matches this a is... tennis racket. Come on. <laughs> this is an app I don't know much about. I'm not going to lie. But I saw that uh, we're in the tennis racket. Match. Oh, it's a very match. It's a super Dude, match. Wow. Speaking of single tennis players. Safety first. Safety yeah. first. All right. Oh, yeah. Wow. I saw this. This is a massive yeah. amount of trust. There is 0% chance that I would ever trust Justin to do this. I wonder how many times she got hit before, <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, Vasek, actually we have this lucky couple here right now. So let's talk oh. to them really quick. I, I, I gotta know some things here. First of all, I have to ask Elenia, how did you have this amount of trust in your boyfriend <laughs> to even attempt this video? I don't know. He told me he wasn't going to miss. And so I thought, That's why confidence. not? Yeah. That was That's a lie. Confidence. And that was it? Bye. That was it? How many um, tries? I would like to know. Like, did you hit everyone well, point? Well, we've been, we've just... been telling everyone it was only one take, but that's... That's not actually true, really. It took, <laughs> but to be honest, it only took maybe, maybe four shots. I think it was just I was feeling lucky that day. The first one... The first one actually clipped or clipped the apple, but we said we could get a better connection than that, so we'll keep uh, we'll keep it rolling. Wait, so you were you were actually facing the ball at one point? Yeah. So before we had oh my, my mom God. come out and film, I was just holding my camera like selfie, and then it just hit me in the head, and I was like, oh my "That's God. enough of this." Vasek, would you trust me? Yeah. Course. <laughs> well, thank you guys for joining us and thanks for submitting this video. If you do uh, post some more videos, let us know because this is awesome. Yeah, thanks for thank having you us. So much. We appreciate it. All right, Vasek, I think it's time to pick our favorites. So you go first. I think I know what yours yeah, is. Yeah, guys, my favorite is hands down the uninterested six year old boy or however old he was. <laughs> that was the best one for sure. I laughed. I laughed out loud. By myself when I saw that one, as I do often, but 
that is the best one for sure. <laughs> and by uninterested, it was extremely uninterested, yeah. like not one movement. He could, he could have been a best. doll. We Be didn't know. Best video. That's my favorite one. So my favorite is actually from Dasha Kasakina. One, because she didn't just do one. She just didn't do two. Like she's been all over TikTok. Uh, we all, she did the Roger Federer against the wall. Her hand, we know her hands are great. So I actually got a chance to talk to her and asked her if she's coming out with any more videos, but uh, let's find out more. Okay, now we're gonna bring in Dasha and talk about these videos a little bit. You're balancing your rackets on TikTok. You just thought of that this morning and you left your rackets there or what? I was holding the rackets and I was trying to, you know, put my face <laughs> in the middle of the house and everything just fall apart. Actually, I bet it's tougher than it looks. Uh, yeah, it's I very tough because rackets are not staying. If you're not cheating, I mean, don't put something, you know, the glue or something. <laughs> The Roger Federer challenge, because actually I think you are giving him a run for his money. You did that pretty well. Thank you. I feel like that's kind of how you play on the tennis court too. Like you come up with some trick shots in your match. Like how many points do you think you've won on tri trick shots in matches? Ooh, I don't know. Tough to say. Not actually as much as Roger does. But I remember <laughs> one when I made it winner against Roberta Winch in Toronto, 2017. So, okay, so you're the frying pan one where you're juggling the ball and then you hit it into the blender. Tell me, how many times did it take you to get this one? Well, I wish there was a first try, but <laughs> I tried so many times. You could times. have just said that right now yeah. too. <laughs> At the end I thought like, okay, come on, it's just impossible. And I tried like, I don't know, 25, 30 times. But tell, yeah, tell me a little bit, like we have a lot of time right now. Like, how are you feeling with all this time off? I mean, right now, pretty much all our tournaments are canceled through July. I mean, that's a lot of time for, for us tennis players. Uh, yeah, maybe it's too much time. <laughs> yeah, for, for example, Sunday I had off, and but I decided, okay, I have to do something because I'm so bored. And I was doing 45 minute stairs up and down, and next day, <laughs> and still, I don't feel my calves. <laughs> you're you're gonna come back after this like in the best shape ever though i feel like there's two ways the best shape or the worst shape <laughs> <laughs> there's no in between <laughs> yeah there's no you cannot find the middle awesome well, well thanks tasha for coming on and talking with me a little bit uh i'm definitely gonna tune into some of your fitness workout videos though because i'm gonna need some motivation okay okay good luck <laughs> <All right. laughs> good luck with that <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Ciao. Hold up. Hey, guys. Thank you for joining myself, Tommy Paul, Taylor yes, Fritz, sir. Riley, and Francis TFO. Boys, we're going to play a little game now. I'm not going to participate. I'm just going to moderate. Who is always late? Oh. Fritz. The answer to this. Well, no, but oh, for me, that, that one's here too. Tough. Francis is here too. I know. <laughs> Francis is here too. <laughs> Even, is he worse than Bo? Fritz, Fritz. It's, it's, it's different. Nah, I'm not. It's different. Fritz is consistently late every time. Francis, Francis but Francis, Francis will be like way later a couple times. What are you talking about? about? Yes. What are you talking? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I love how Fritz has his own name up there too. <laughs> one time, Francis told me he was coming down the elevator for like an hour. <laughs> I did do that. I remember that. Who's the biggest eater? It's got to be the big man. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, it's going to be. Oh, oh. Fritzy. <laughs> what? DP, who do you go? <laughs> Riley, bro. What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Dude, really? Riley does eat a house, though. Yeah, I'll probably give that one to Riley because we're we're similar in stature, and I know I know I eat a lot. So, all right, who's the messiest? Okay. No, no, Riley, it's Foe all day here. Ooh. What are you saying? <laughs> it's Fritz. <laughs> Actually, Francis, I gotta say though, I saw that little ATP Cribs thing. Oh, they're, bro, that was a disaster. They're closed everywhere. I mean, bro, like that's just picking right, up Francis, after, the, after, right after, right after the there. room for, after the room we had in like. Spain when we were like 15. You bro, you go from when we were 16. You can't tell me you're not messier than me. You can't, bro. 
We just got. I don't know, Fritz. Fritz, bro, you're people, bad. Bro. People wouldn't come in our room. <laughs> bro, you couldn't. A dirty clothes there for a month. Who's most likely to get defaulted from a match? I think I agree with that, Tommy. <laughs> Just say something a little, yeah. a little too yeah. far. Yeah, no, Riley, yeah. Riley yeah, it's, it's definitely not opposite. even not even do anything different. People would just hear him. All right here we go, guys. And who would you least out of you four? Who would you least want to be in quarantine with? Yeah, I no, I, I'd love to be in quarantine. With we actually media. talked about this. Yeah. About getting this crew. Actually, like, us four, really us four in quarantine would be ideal. Like we've been wanting. Yeah, if you just make jump. sure none of y'all, none of y'all have it. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Who's most likely? Post tennis, the star in a Hollywood movie. Fritz, Fritz, <laughs> me. <laughs> I mean, Fritz does live in LA, so he's got. Dude, you up. gotta say Fritz. I'm gonna say Fritz. Yeah, he's got. He's got. He's got to step up on everyone right now. Thanks, guys, for joining myself, Taylor, Riley, Tommy, and Francis um, for this little debate of ours. Hope you enjoyed it. We hope to see you guys sometime soon, hopefully on the tennis court. Bye. All right, everyone, and we have two challenges this week. The first one is the hat tap challenge. All right, so this is the Roger Federer hat tap challenge. They set the bar very high. The challenge here was you had to, you had to find a hat, uh, you had to find a wall, had to have racket and ball, and it's the hat tap challenge. Yeah, I did a great job here. So let's get into some of the submissions that we've received. We got we got some good ones here. Coco with I, a football helmet halfway on. Uh, she's actually she's actually doing pretty good. Yeah, it's a uh, not an easy challenge, not at all. So she's doing pretty well. She's not she's a great footwork too. She's really <laughs> you know she's. Oh, there we go, there we go. Little adjustment Boom. step. Boom! One was, quick first step. Is this Lindsay Vaughn? Lindsay Vaughn. Skier, she's still sit, she's, staying in shape here. I don't, it, but the way she's holding this racket, I'm a little concerned. But uh, yeah. she's an athlete, so I'm gonna <laughs> give her some credit here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The the grip is throwing her off a little bit. She's doing pretty well. Okay. <laughs> the grip is she's definitely wearing... throwing her off. Otherwise, I actually think she would do pretty well. <laughs> All right. So here we got Tony Cruz playing, who plays for uh, Real Madrid, and. Obviously, we know he's player. good on the field, but damn, this lefty forehand volley. I'm actually really impressed. He's pretty close to the wall. I love this video. First of all, this was National Unicorn Day, so oh. I really appreciate that she has a unicorn onesie ready for this challenge. But wait for it. Like, wait for the end here. Good focus. Close to the Easter wall. Bunny at first. <laughs> And let, look at the genuine reaction here. Like, Wait, where did the ball she, go? No, it Over looks the, like oh, she's on the she 57th it. floor of whatever apartment building <laughs> this is. And it just like felt like it's gone. This, I don't know who this is, but this is <laughs> the winner. Number one. Well, I like the hat. Great hat, Bethany. Listen. Uh, oh, what I happened there? <laughs> oh, you that's know, I, Actually, listen, I, I had this, to, one, this took some enough. teamwork here. Wow, um, you, you have a full crew around you. I, this is a good one. <laughs> okay, okay, this is, oh, savage. Boom. I don't know why I also chose wow. like a pillar to play against. Like we have a lot of walls in our house, but the sunlight was hitting it right. And I was like, you know what? I'll just, I'll make this challenge harder. See, there we oh. go, the football <laughs> helmet. That was pretty intense. <laughs> That was good. Okay, I have my new favorite. This is my new favorite one for sure. Oh, we still got mine. We still have to look at mine. Yeah, I know. Look we gotta take a look at. Look, first of all, views level one hundred. Like what? It's tough to beat ball yours though. That's tough baller. to beat yours. Okay, yeah, but know. against the it glass, it was a little you're... bit cold. The, the AC was on in the apartment, so I had to make sure I, I wore like warm clothes and. Uh, I mean, you're taking you know, massive risks here on this glass. Like, I'm just waiting for it to all shatter, and then you run to the camera and yeah. stop recording. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a week full of star-powered challenges. Next one is Andy Murray's and Kim's challenge, the 100 Volley Challenge. Hi, everyone. I'm here with my wife, Kim, and we're going to attempt the 100 Volley Partner Challenge. I was pretty impressed with this one, actually. It was... Uh... 100 volleys back and forth is not easy, especially like as soon as you start to get 
near the end, I feel like you're probably getting a little nervous and, you know, but she, she, she did pretty well. And Andy was just, you know, he's, he's a, he's a rock. I mean, Great look, hands. they, they both hands. really didn't take any steps. I mean, come on now. There was like what one yeah. kind of stressful ball in the middle of that rally, but otherwise that was pretty impressive. All right, next week, we're gonna take a look at all the attempts from across the tennis world. So it's not too late for you to do it. Tag us and send your videos in. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for joining us. You can follow along with us on the WTA and ATP social media platforms. If you have a video to submit, make sure you hashtag tennis at home. And home court to tag us and we'll check out all your videos. But until next week, I'm Bethany Maddox-Sands. I'm Bastrick Pospisil and we're out. <laughs>